Okay. My mother died. I understand that, but you call me a fucking. I'm, no, I'm sorry. You weren't sorry when you mm. said it on the phone. I was. This, wow. There was no. But at the end of the day, I a, I and the climate me. that we live in today's I society, I'm sorry. I understand that, but it's it's above me now. Cause I need a room tonight. Well, there's the best restaurant next door. No, please let me hear. My daughter's here. I'm sorry, but. I mean, I was on the phone when you said it. I said, I'm sorry. Please, I've been in a, I've had a horrible time. And I today. had a horrible time when hearing that. He won't let me in. It's, it's above me. She called me a fucking. Wow. Sir, my grandma just. I died. understand that, but it's above me. Let me, please let me. It's above me. Sorry. I got my credit the best card. restaurant is next door. Sir, the rest of our family. I understand is here. that, but it's above me. Please. Wow, from what I can make out from his lips, that she called him the N-word. That's what I can make out. Now, that looks like an establishment, like a hotel, motel, something like that. And this lady's trying to check in, and apparently she got belligerent on him and called him, you know, the N-word. And he's not having it. I mean, yeah, he's pretty calm. He's pretty calm. You know, he's, he's you know, carrying himself well about it, you know. But... I don't know. It's just like, it's like, a, you know, that word is also used with A at the end for in terms of endearment with people that use that, you know, in, in, in my community. And it, it, yeah, I don't know. I think it should just be getting rid of all completely all, you know, because of the, the nasty history of it. That's just my my thoughts. You know, I, I you know, that's what I think. You know, and, I, and I'm not getting on this generation because they use that word as a term of endearment because it started in my generation with Richard Pryor. He was the very first one to start that of our people calling each other that name, that word, that word that had a terrible, vicious, violent history behind it. And now it's used as a term of endearment. Of course, my man is upset and he should be. He should be. You know, some people in my community said we own that word now. That's our word. Nobody can say it. Nobody can use it. But I don't know. I, that's, you know, me personally, I just think it's a psychological thing. I, I, I really think it shouldn't be, you know. And some people say, well, it's just words, you know. Words is just words. Yeah, it's just words. But words carry certain vibrations and in some negative, some vibrations are negative. That's harmful. And these are just my thoughts on it. And he has every right to feel the way he feels and he doesn't have to accept her in his hotel because she was out of line and she didn't have to go there with that. Didn't.